Welcome to another tutorial, and today we will talk about key value pairs in Google Ad Manager. The reason why it's called key value is because you will have to specify a key and a corresponding value. And when you deploy it on your codes, they go together. There is going to be a key and a value paired up together. Now, there are two types of key values. In Google Ad Manager, there is what we call the page level key value pair. And we also have the add unit level key value pair. With page level key value pair, once it's targeted, you are basically targeting the whole page, meaning all the add units that's defined on that page. Whereas with the add unit level key value pair, when it's targeted, you are able to target specific add units only. So the setup would really depend on how you would intend to use them. So there are times when we just want to target the whole page, regardless of which ad units are deployed in there, then go for the page level. But if you have campaigns wherein you can only target specific ad units, then go with the ad unit level key value pair. Here's an example when you would want to use a page level key value pair. On the left here, you have 15 ad units with three sections or categories on the site. Without the use of KVP, you will have to create all 15 ad units. This means it takes more time for you to set up everything. It's more tedious. And imagine when you're creating a line item, for example, and you need to target all the ad units for a certain category or section, then you will have to select all of them one by one in your inventory targeting. Now, what about if you use a key value pair or KVP? Instead of creating 15 ad units, you only need to create five ad units, just a single set of ad units, and this will be deployed across all pages of the site, but you will still be able to specify targeting by setting up key value pair. So three sections of the site here, this will now be your KVP, and then you just have five ad units. Simplified, you save a lot of time. Now, where do you start creating these key value pairs? On your Google Ad Manager account, go to Inventory Key Values. Give it a name. You can nominate any name you want. In this example, I will use the name section. For the display name, you can just go ahead and copy the same. For the value type, you can select predefined, meaning you just select from the predefined values, or dynamic, meaning it allows you to input any value when trafficking on Google Ad Manager. I'd like to use the predefined ones so that it's easier for me to just select from the values I already created. For report on values, I'd like to include values in reporting. In some cases, publishers would choose do not include values in reporting if it's only used for ad serving and they don't necessarily need it for reporting. But if you do need to run a report later, for example, oh, I need to see the performance across the different sections of my site, then I'll go ahead and include values in reporting. The third option here, which says include values in reporting and also add it as a custom dimension, that means you are able to see that key value right here in the dimension section of your reports. If that's not really necessary, just go with the second one. I recommend include values in reporting. As soon as you click new values here, it will automatically save the key that you just created. Now for the values, I will have this three, so homepage, news, and sports. I really like using all lowercase, even with a section or the key earlier. You know how Mark Zuckerberg would wear the same color of shirts every day? It's because you don't even have to worry about it. All lowercase, you don't even have to waste your time thinking, Oh, do I do uppercase here, uppercase there, lowercase here, lowercase there? Nothing like that. So just do lowercase across the board, you're done. Okay, so that's done. Click on save. So this is now our key, and these are now our values. Now let's say you're generating a tag for a single ad unit from Google Ad Manager. You will see this section right here, which says page level key values. Look for the key and select the relevant section or value in here. So if this ad unit would show up, for example, on homepage, 
you select home page. Then go ahead and continue. And you will notice that there's a line here for set targeting. There's your key and there's your value. What about if you are to generate the tag or all the ad units at once because they're going to show up on the same page anyway. So you need to use ad manager, tag generator and tester. I'm going to post the link in the description box below. So check that out. Now, once you're here, you specify GPT, of course, because you're generating a tag for Google Ad Manager, your network ID, which of course you can see or find that on the upper left corner here, right underneath your network name. You can also find that in the URL. And here's now the key value pair for page level. And you need to follow the format, key equals value. So let's say I have all my five ad units in here. I've already defined their ad unit codes and their corresponding ad sizes. And for the custom targeting, I'm going to do section equals, and let's say this is homepage. What you need to make sure here is that it matches the key and the values you created in Google Ad Manager. If it's all lowercase, also do lowercase. Bottom line is it has to match exactly. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right. So once you have that, so let's say, okay, this batch here will be deployed on the home page. So I'll click generate tags. And you will notice all my five ad units are there in the header section. And I have my set targeting here, the key and the value. And I have the corresponding body tags, which of course will be deployed where they're supposed to show up. So copy, copy, deploy your homepage. And what about if I need now to generate the tag for my new section? So I will need, what I will need to do is remove this custom targeting and replace it with section equals news. And again, it has to match what you have defined or set up in Google Ad Manager exactly. And I still have all my ad units, generate the tag. And this time, I still have all five ad units. And I now have the key value for the new section right there. And just the same, I also have the corresponding body tags. So when you scroll down, again, copy, copy, deploy to the site. And lastly, of course, you do your sports. So still the same. Generate the tag. And this right here goes to your sports section. It has the set targeting, the key, and the value. Now let's say, for example, you closed a deal with an ad network and they would like to run only on your sports page, but not on news and homepage. When you set up your line item on Google Ad Manager, you can go ahead and target run of network if you want to target all inventory. Click on custom targeting. And this is now where you can either include or exclude certain key values. Click select, select the key value or the key that you created. Then you have an option here, is or is none of. So this is to include and exclude. So since we would like to target or include sports, then we will select is any of and select sports. So what this means is this line item you are trying to set up is eligible to run on all inventory, all ad units because we did not specify any ad unit in here, but it will only be eligible if this key and this value is found on the page like so. So for your home page and news page, because they do not meet this condition, obviously this line item will not be eligible to serve on these two other sections. It will only serve on the sports section. Well, what if, for example, we select is none of? Now this is the opposite. It means that this line item that you just set up is eligible to serve on other pages or sections of the site except on those sections where this key and this value is found. Now aside from targeting, KVP is also very useful in running reports. So you can filter key values and you can say contains, you can say section equals 
and then you break it down further by key values and select the relevant metrics that you need in here and run. That means you are able to see the performance between home page and news and sports. And that is without creating a bunch of different ad units on your site. You only created a single set of ad units, universal set, and you only created these as key values. That ends my tutorial for today. If you have any questions, suggestions for my next tutorial, feel free to comment down below. I read all your comments, respond to them as much as I can, and I'll see you on my next tutorial.